Right, so I hope everyone's been doing all right. Not been on for a while because, um, I don't know, I've just been feeling really weird lately, mentally and physically, you know, just feeling like rubbish. And finding it hard to do anything when I get home, I'd literally just sit down and do nothing at all. <coughs> but I started thinking I'd better start doing some stuff, so... And also sorry to everyone who I haven't replied to, especially um, the regular commenters. I always appreciate that and sorry I haven't replied. Anyway, so what I wanted to show you was an SMK <coughs> XS26 22 caliber. So there's a couple of things that's been changed on it. Now this is actually like marketed and sold as the most powerful spring air pistol you can buy in the UK. Um, it's like brake barrel 2.22 or 5.5 millimeter brake barrel air pistol. Now it doesn't normally come with a stock but this is quite a heavy gun and I found it a bit of a sod to aim and hold it without a stock on it. So I'll put this stock on it and another thing is this on the end isn't the silencer it's actually a cocking aid and it just pulls off <clears throat> and that's the length of the barrel and this is the cocking aid now my one has got this little cap on the end they don't normally have that they normally just it's just open hollow and this is some sort of really hard plastic I've put this on because I wanted to test to see if it would suppress it a bit. I can't really tell. It might need something like baffles put inside it. But you can see there that it's basically just a hollow tube. <clears throat> and there's slots on the barrel and there's slots in there. If, I don't know if you can see them. But there's kind of ridges. And that just slots over makes it so you can cock it easier <clears throat> because cocking it with a very short barrel especially that the sight is there it's going to be pretty hard it's much better with the cocking aid fibre optic sights <clears throat> red at the front green at the back fully adjustable now one thing I would say though when you're aiming if you hold it at arm's length the sight seems to be good when I bring it closer the sight picture is slightly weird as in when they line up so the two at the back one at the front instead of lining up to kind of look like that if you hold it closer they line up with a gap each side so you have to be careful that the front one is in the middle if that makes sense it may not I can't show you because the stock's in the way anyway that is that this stock is like this it's got a wing nut here Done it out very tight. Undo the wing nut. And it comes out. One is just a kind of rod to stop it moving side to side. And one has actually got the wing nut on. It's got a little bit on there to hold your pellets as well. Butt pad on the back. Now this piece <clears throat> will be on there permanently now. And it's held on by two bolts. Because this handle, <clears throat> if you take this out, this handle is hollow. And there's nothing in there at all. So you can quite easily put two bolts in there safely, it doesn't feel with anything. And you can still use that 
as a pistol without that getting in the way at all. And then when you want to put the scope on, you just put it on. You might be able to see there what I meant. See how when it's closer the sight picture is slightly weird. Bring it away and it works better. That makes sense. But I also didn't want a massive great long stock on it either. The stock had to be small. So that goes in. The other way. On top. I know it's all unloaded. Stock is on. Good stock. Feels decent. Well, like I said, you do have to pull your head back a little bit. Because the sight picture is not quite right. It's, it's doable. Right, I'll give it a couple of shots. When I first fired it, it was very loud and very smoky. It's calmed down now. It seems a bit more normal. Right, target is up here somewhere, a spinning target. I can't actually see it on the camera, but it's there somewhere. Oh, one thing I will say, which is slightly weird, actually I'll fire this first shot. And then I'll, um, and I'll tell you. See it there? <coughs> this isn't a massive difference. This is our uh, distance. This is about the the length of an ordinary kind of. Well, actually, this is quite a long garage. Um, I don't know, 15, 20 feet, something like that. You may not be able to see this. This is metal. The stock is plastic. The barrel is actually plastic coated so it's like they've made I don't know how they've done it but this is plastic with a metal insert or something it's very strong I reckon it's mostly metal with like a small kind of not a film of plastic but do you know what I mean you know it's mostly metal I reckon but some sort of plastic on top of it but that is plastic Oh, and these retail, you can get them for about a hundred pound. It's got a safety catch. <clears throat> Here. Bit dark in here, but there is a safety catch there. Yeah? I believe it's got, I'm not going to try it, an anti bear trap mechanism so that um, <coughs> when you pull the trigger, it won't close up on your hand. Yeah, so lately I've just been kind of feeling rubbish, physically and mentally. So I thought maybe if I give this a go, it might make me feel a little bit better. Give me something to do. And hopefully I'll get back on traps again. That's hitting pretty, you know, pretty dead on. But that is it. Very good ice, in my opinion. I'm glad I've put this on it and removable. That I 
that was the simplest way I could think of putting this on. I thought of loads of ways. I was going to do some sort of wrap around thing because I didn't want to damage it. Didn't want to drill holes. I was going to do a wrap around thing. Won't work. So I thought if I take this out and have a look. When I realised that was completely hollow in there, and it was thick as well, really thick plastic, so it will hold. And that's the simplest way. That could stay on there. Take this off when you need it. Put it on when you want it on. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'll shoot it without the arm. Um, without the cocking aid slash suppressor on the end. You don't have to shoot it with it on, you can keep it off. You cock it with it, take it off. But you can use it with it on. So this is without it. You tell me if you think it's loud or not. yanking it off like that but that's the only way you can really do it now do one more with it on the pellets I'm shooting are these Gamo Match Classic Flathead Flathead 2 2 Right Cheers for watching I'll see you later. Hopefully I'll get back on the traps soon. Laters.